What's going on guys, VLK Anomaly here, and um, I'm bringing you some Call of Duty Black Ops today in glorious high definition. And today I am uh, playing on Nuketown using the G11. This was back uh, a couple weeks ago, quite a while ago actually, feels like. Um, during the Nuketown 24-7, most recent, with that first blood nade. Um, during the most recent Nuketown 24-7, so uh, this is back in the end of July. Uh, I can't really remember. So I guess this is like a month old now. Wow. I feel like August has gone so fast. But, um, anyway, using the G11, flak jacket, sleight of hand, hacker. Um, I think sleight of hand is the only pro perk I have. And this is just your average, uh, ass pounding, uh, demo gameplay with full party. You know how it is. We, uh, you know, we let them win the first round, destroy them in kills, and then end up, uh, pulling it out in the end. But, uh, I won't ruin my KD now because this is going to be either a two or three part game it's like 18 minutes long and uh, I'm not sure how how long the second and third rounds are so I'll have to see but uh, I know that the, this first video is only going to be the uh, first round and uh, it's I gotta say the G11 is probably my favorite weapon even though my combat record is pretty low because I, I prestige and you unlock it at the very end which kinda sucks but um it's just a really awesome weapon because I, I always kinda like three bursts but in this game, the M16 really kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie, it, it it leaves a lot to be desired. If you don't have a really good connection, it kind of it really blows. And even if you do have a good connection, it could still be spotty in terms of uh, the consistency of its kills. But because the G11 has a higher fire rate and a ridiculous ammo uh, amount, it's uh, it's really fun to use. And uh, I don't know something about it. I just really love. And its hip fire actually helps make up for its really, you know, the three bursts inability at close range. And this little clipping spot right here, it's not even a clipping spot because I guess I can see but this little spot on the bus right here is awesome if you have an, uh, for demo and even for domination if you're spawn trapping. So if you haven't tried that out before, you should. But, uh, I'm using the flak jack in this game and this, I, I, in my, one of my previous commentaries I said something about how I don't really have a problem with Ghost. And, uh, while I do have a kind of have a problem with it being in the game, um, if you use it right, it's not that big a deal. But I don't use it anymore at all, except for like, you know, my designated straw class, and it's mostly just not because I like you know I'm protesting against Ghost or anything, but because Flakjack is just such a great perk. I mean, if it weren't for Ghost, Flakjack would probably be be the most overpowered perk we've ever seen, because it's just you're basically invincible to explosives unless you know you get direct impacted by an RPG or an RC car and uh, or you're highly damaged when you hit by a frag and this makes it an even better uh, defensive playing tool I guess than uh, than ghost because you, you you can't get taken out of a building unless you uh, they beat you in a gunfight basically so uh, I've really come to love flak jacket although I've never gotten the uh, the, the pro variant which would be nice because then I can actually use napalm strikes and run through them. But uh, I just don't play bomb game modes that much, as I'm, you know, as I'm playing a bomb game mode. But Nuketown 24/7, you couldn't choose. And the only time I ever liked demo is on Nuketown. I really dislike demo because um, most of the time you're either getting uh, oh look, look at that feed. You're either getting screwed over by um, I don't know. It just seems like some the the spawns are erratic and it's just kinda well not erratic but they're kinda broken and it's just a frustrating game mode to me unless you're doing this and on most maps if you're doing this the um... you're sitting in there spawn knifing them and that's really not that much fun like this is fun because we're uh... it's not on nuketown like it's you can't literally sit in the spawn because there's a lot of places they can spawn it's a small map so it's uh, a little better for that and chopper runner is completely rape face so it's a little more fun, but I, I don't tend to like demolition, so... And I hate search and destroy, I absolutely hate it. Everyone just picks their nearest corner in camps, and... I, uh... I play defensively, but I don't like to do that, and, uh, I tend to get shot in the back by the heel camping in the corner, so I don't really like search. And what's the other... Sabotage? Eh. I mean, I don't really like it unless you're running with a full party, and then you're pretty much getting one bomb playing a game, and it's hard to get Fly Jacket Pro. So, that's why I never end up getting it. When I... If I were to ever get it, I would just end up prestiging because it takes so long to get. But, uh, and a lot of people would probably say, wonder why I'm running. Ooh, look at this shot right here. Jump over the bus to get the helicopter. Thought that was pretty nice. 
And then I got absolutely raped right there somehow. Even though I three bursted him, but whatever. A lot of people probably think it's kind of funny that I'm using fly jacket and hacker. And uh, the reason I do is I really don't like any other third perks in this game. I mean, I can't even remember what all the third perks are in this game right now. I don't, I don't know. All right, I know there's ninja, hacker, and attack mask. I can't even remember the other ones. But uh, I don't really like ninja because it doesn't. You can't hear footsteps in this game anyway. Like really can't be sound horde without ninja anyway because they've nerfed the footsteps so bad and even with ninja pro like once again i don't plant bombs and you need to plant bombs to get ninja pro and i don't like uh... and even with the ladder footsteps you still can't hear enemy footsteps so it's not like sitrep pro was in mono for it too and tack mask is just too annoying to get the pro variant so anyway guys that's the end of this round uh... i'll be posting two and maybe three i'm not sure how long it's gonna be up pretty soon so uh... stay tuned for that and uh... I'll see you guys later. Make sure you rate and everything. And uh, I'll see you later.